Coming up, drivers can expect some delays for the next several weeks in one county as crews start repairing multiple embankment failures. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. It is a steamy night out there, and for a few people in far eastern Kentucky, it was also a stormy night. More record-breaking heat is on the way for tomorrow. Meteorologist Evan Hatter is in first tonight with the latest. Evan? That's right, Steve. It was a scorcher today, and it remains, quite honestly, hot and humid outside. But that's not the only thing we've dealt with throughout the day. Most of us have stayed dry this evening. Others, it's been quite stormy. First, how hot it got. Middle and upper 90s in some areas. Hazard Prestonsburg got to 91, 92 Harlan, 93 Williamsburg, Somerset, Middlesboro. How about 94 Jackson? 95 today in Monticello. So it was very, very warm. Pikeville Medical Center camera right now sitting at 79. That's warm enough as it is, but factor in. It's, you know, 11 o'clock at night. Jackson still sits at 83, 81, Somerset, London. It is a little cooler in the Big Sandy. There's a reason for that. Dew points down into the 60s in that spot. But how about nearing 80 in Monticello and throughout the 70s? So at this late hour, it still feels like nearly 90 degrees if you were to step outside in downtown Jackson. 86 in London, 87 in Somerset. Out towards... The Big Sandy, it's where we still deal with some storms. These were briefly severe earlier, but some rumbles of thunder moving through Mingo and Logan counties, Martin County as well, and more thunderstorms off to the north. We'll have to keep an eye on as we run through tonight. I'll have the latest on how long the heat looks to stick around and if we can see more storms coming up in just a few. Steve? All right, Evan, thank you. Well, keep the water handy and do what you can to stay cool. The heat will continue here in the mountains. Records will likely fall all week as the heat index reaches triple digits. Power companies and cooperatives are preparing for an increase in energy consumption. Workers at Kentucky Utilities say they will treat this week much like any other and that they are not anticipating any issues even with the record high temperatures. Officials do recommend ticking up that thermostat if you can stand it to help save on those electricity bills. A business in Corbin is going solar. Corbin's second on Main has converted to solar energy. It was a four-year process, and owner Jeff Marietta says it was a big investment. You have to look at your energy demand, your building needs, you know, the, the cloud cover, where the slope of the building is. I mean, there's just the slope of the, of the roof. Marietta says he hopes to see more of this across eastern Kentucky. Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell and Congressman Hal Rogers announced funding for water system improvements in the city of Wheelwright. Funds will help the city and Floyd County replace its existing water treatment plant to provide clean, consistent water resources to city residents. More than $770,000 comes from an Appalachian Regional Commission infrastructure program, which was established by Senator McConnell. The ARC program aims to provide funding to distressed communities in central Appalachia. The search for a missing man in Whitley County is stopped for the night. Now that it's turned dark, crews are trying to find 75-year-old Daryl Carter. Investigators say he has a history of dementia, and today's heat is likely another, an, another concern. The search and rescue crews from the region are in the Rockholds community looking for Carter. The Whitley County Sheriff's Department shared this video of the response tonight. They say civilian volunteers are also helping in the search. Whitley County Sheriff Danny Moses said if Carter isn't found, crews will be back out in the morning can, to continue looking for him. Well, for those traveling in Johnson County, you may see some delays during the next several weeks. Crews are fixing 12 embankment failures on Kentucky 172. These happening after severe weather this past year. Emily Bennett spoke with some people who live along the road who say they are happy to see these slides being fixed. It, it had some bad places and it did. It's a common sight along Kentucky 172. They always slide when it rains like that. Bobby and Linda Moore travel this road in Johnson County every day. 
Oh, you were seeing like holes in the road, you know, and it was breaking off. Right up there, it broke off. And each time, they say it feels like there's yet another road slip. It made you a little nervous, you know, because you thought, well, I'm over on this side going down, and that's where the brakes at, you know, and you're like, oh, no. But a fix is underway. This is one of 12 slides crews are repairing here on Kentucky 172. All of these happening during this past year's floods. It was pretty bad, it was, but there was one down the road that they'd already worked on was worse, but they done fixed it. Crews are drilling steel rails into the embankments and using cribbing material to stabilize the road. You don't know what's underneath it. That's what bothers me with the brakes. You don't know. But since they've worked on it, I can tell a big difference. Transportation officials say the work will take several weeks, but they're finishing up the fourth slip repair. Any kind of improvement on the road, uh, it, it means a lot. I mean, it, it, it means everything to, to the people that live here, you know. The Moors are happy to see the repair is being done, making their everyday drive to pick up their granddaughter less nerve wracking. Much, much safer when they get it all done. Because you always worry about them grandbabies. Emily Bennett, WYMT Mountain News. Repairs are expected to take four to five weeks, and people should expect delays Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Paving is scheduled on parts of the road after repairs are done. Surrounding counties are back in the red zone as COVID-19 numbers climb. Lawrence, Pike, Wolf, Perry, and other counties, as you see there, are seeing an increase in COVID cases due to vaccine immunity becoming weaker. Increasing cases often cause hospital admissions to spike, but health officials say that as of right now, hospital capacity is not at an alarming rate. The math that's out now that shows us in the red status, we should all pay attention to that because that helps us to realize how should we modify our behaviors to stay as healthy as we can be. Health leaders encourage the public to stay up to date on all vaccines and boosters, saying that's the most effective way to combat the virus. A new outdoor equipment supply store named L3 Adventures will be opening its doors in Laurel County tomorrow. Following a kayaking accident he had while in college, owner and operator of L3 Adventures, Stephen Jones, was inspired to open the business to provide the highest quality gear to help outdoor enthusiasts with whatever obstacles come their way. You know, uh, the goal is not make a million dollars. If I wanted to do that, I certainly wouldn't be selling tents. <laughs> uh, the goal is to help people and just make sure everyone's safe, when, uh, safe and prepared for whenever they go out into the woods or whatever sort of adventures that they have. L3 Adventures is located in London and will be open Tuesday through Friday from 1030 to 6 and on Saturdays from 9 until 3. This week is Grant Impact Week for the Honorable Order of the Kentucky Colonels. The nonprofit group hands out millions of dollars to nonprofits throughout the state. On Monday, the Colonels kicked off their week by awarding more than $320,000 to deserving Eastern Kentucky organizations. Partnership Housing in Owsley County helps low and middle income folks afford a home. They won a special prize just for showing up. We, uh, we won a thousand extra dollars um, to help the residents in our area with uh, home ownership or you know anything housing needs. Just for showing up. Yep, just for showing up. <laughs> Rachel's lucky. <laughs> in total, the Kentucky Colonels are giving away more than three million dollars this year to 314 different nonprofits throughout the Commonwealth, affecting more than 3.9 million people. Coming up on Mountain News at 11, the January 6th committee reveals new testimony to try and make the case that former President Trump knew that claims of widespread election fraud were lies. Plus, the hot weather, well, we've got that covered, but could storms move back into the region as well? The latest on the potential return of rain chances, coming up. I'm Dr. George Corey, I'm a neurologist at ARH. The ways that ARH...